So now I'm going to take you through making a simple beat in Ableton Live with the Launchpad Mini. First, I'm going to import some samples. So I'm going to click on Add Folder here, and I'm going to navigate to Music and then Samples, where we installed the Loop Masters Excite Pack in the previous video. I've also created a Drum Samples folder above by clicking on New Folder here. And I've literally gone into the Loop Masters folder and selected all of the samples that I like by previewing them. And then by holding Alt and clicking and dragging them into the drum folder, I've copied them. So I'm going to select the drum folder and then click on Open. And what this does is create a drum sample shortcut. And now I can preview all of the samples in the drum samples folder by clicking on them. So next I'm going to load in a drum rack. So I'm going to select Instruments and click and drag Drum Rack onto a MIDI clip. And in the Launchpad menu, in user one mode, you can see where all of these samples are laid out when I hit the pads like so. So I want to drag some samples onto these available slots. So I go into my drum samples folder and I find the appropriate samples that I want to load in. Now I'm going to keep it really simple and load in four samples, maybe a couple of kicks, a snare and a hi-hat. Maybe a hi-hat here and a snare. I'm going to click and drag that onto this slot here. So now you can hear the samples and how they're laid out. So when I'm ready to record, what I need to do first is tap a tempo to something that is suitable. Perhaps a bit slower. And then when I'm happy, I drag it and I've selected 70 BPM. Then I need to go into the edit menu and select record quantization 16th notes, which means everything I play in will be quantized or snapped to a grid and won't sound sloppy. When I'm ready, I hit session button and to record into a clip, I simply hit the first clip and it begins recording. Then I wanna jump back into user one mode and start playing along, like so. So there we go, quite simple. But when I'm happy, I double click on the clip and what I'm gonna do is drag the beginning points or the start points and the end locators so that I've got a four bar loop. Go into session mode and I can see that my clip is there. Now I quite like the hi-hat being on every single bar. So I'm gonna click it, hold alt and drag it to the same place every bar just to keep that rhythm section going. So now I just want to add a little fill at the end. So I'm going to copy this snare sample. And by holding Alt, I can click and drag it and copy it. And once more, I just need to listen to that, see if it sounds good. So moving on, I'm going to select an instrument now and I'm going to go to Instrument Rack and select, I think, a pad. So I'm going to go to Pads and I can preview the pad sounds by clicking on them. When I found one that I like, I click and drag it into an empty space. And in user one mode, I can start playing the synth with the launch pad. So when I've found something that's acceptable, I go back into session mode and I simply play the beat hit the pad next to the beat to record into the next slot, jump into user one mode and start playing my piece in. Okay, so again, this is really simple. I'm gonna keep it simple so it's easy to follow. I'm gonna double click on the clip and again, adjust the start and end points. So we've got a nice four bar loop. I'm gonna play the scene of clips by hitting this round button here. Turn the click off. So that's sounding pretty good. Next in the drum rack, I'm going to expand all parts of the drum rack by clicking on this here. And then I'm going to rename each sample 
appropriately. To do this, hit Command and R on your QWERTY keyboard, which renames each channel. Okay, so on the snare, I'm going to add some effects. So I'm going to click on the snare channel and then click on audio effects and go to reverb and click and drag a reverb simply onto that sample. This kind of shows you that you can have complete control over every single sample that's played in your drum rack. It's really handy. So now I just need to adjust the reverb to something more suitable. Now this is all down to preference, so you need to just change your parameters until what you hear sounds suitable in your head. I'm not going to go too in depth here, I'm just going to keep it quite simple so we can move on and build up the rest of the track. Okay, so that sounds pretty good. I'm going to minimise the drum channel. And next I'm going to add a sidechain to the pad that's going to be triggered by the kick. So I'm going to go to audio effects, compressor and click and drag the generic compressor onto the pad channel. By clicking on this I expand the options and then select sidechain, audio from drums and in post effects I change that to drum rack and the kick sample. And now I can adjust the ratio, attack release and threshold. Again this is down to your own preference. I'm going to do something quick here. Until I get the desired effect. Okay, I'm happy with that. And now I'm going to add some bass. So I'm going to select instruments, uh, instrument rack and then select the base menu here and click and preview some sounds until I find something suitable. So that sounds pretty good. I'm going to click and drag that onto an empty slot. And now in user one mode, I can play the synth and develop a part for the song with the launch pad. Once I've got something suitable, I'm going to trigger the two clips, hit the pad next to it to record into an empty slot, and then at a suitable time, play along. Record in my part. So it's really simple, but you get the idea. Get to double click into the clip and adjust the start and end points to make sure there's a nice four bar loop. Then I'm gonna trigger the whole scene by hitting this button here. All of the round buttons on the right hand side in session mode trigger all of the scenes we have in view. Now I need to change the volume of the pad. So to do this, hit the mixer button and you can control volume, pan, sends, can stop individual clips, mute individual channels, and solo individual channels. And at the bottom, you can record arm each channel. So I'm going to hit volume, and I'm going to adjust the volume of the pad until it's suitable. Now I'm going to add a send control. Send A is a reverb by default, and Send B is a delay. So play around with these until you're happy. To stop all clips, hit the bottom right round button. So now I'm going to create multiple scenes simply by clicking on clips, holding Alt and dragging them below. So we can create a breakdown section and a build-up section, for example. 
You'll notice when you drag these clips, the LEDs update on the launch pad, showing you where all of these clips are. So now I can play more of a song with sections. So I'm going to play the pad first. Next, I'm going to trigger the next scene, which is a pad with a bass line. And then I'm going to drop the drums, pad and bass line together. So now you've created a really simple song from a really simple beat. Don't forget you can adjust all the mixer parameters and send controls on the fly to make your song a little bit more interesting. As I've said, this is a really simple beat and a really simple way of making it. You can go as in-depth as you want, but I've kept it quite simple. So there's a quick beat with the Launchpad Mini and Ableton Live Lite. Thanks for watching.